Okay, so we've got a Smith & Wesson 1000 M 20 gauge shotgun assembly. We've had a hard time finding this. We're going to try. Um, that's really hard to see. Sorry, that gives you an idea. There's a stack up there. How the pieces go together. You can find some manuals online. There's a stack up there of what's inside the buffer tube. That is from left to right. What we're going to do from right to left, and we're just going to do uh, the leftmost piece of this. It'll look backwards, but the spring is already in there in the uh, the small rubber buffer, and there's a, a we'll call it a spring catch. So we don't know the names, but we had a hard time finding this video, so I'm going to hand this to my wife. We're going to try putting this together. Okay. So let's see if I can do this in the right order here. Uh, first thing we're going to do if we look at this piece here is we got two arms. They very easily clip out on each side. Uh, what you're going to find is that, depending on how you want to look at it, the, the one on the uh, ejection port here has the small ramp. The ramp is facing outward. And then what you're going to find is that um, if you look at them from the bottom, you're going to see a very nice profile that matches very well. So the key is really that the ramp needs to face out on the ejection port side. Uh, once you have that, get those two arms in there. They do fall out quite easily. You need to put the bolt group together. Um, the caution here, so the bolt group comes off the top, the caution here is that there's a small pin. These, these legs here, there's two legs here that are actually going to fall into... Buddy, can you get her? Can you get the little bugger? Um, sorry, we got two kids here. Um, these two arms here are actually going to fall into the stock itself and push. There's a buffer tube in there. I'm going to call it a buffer tube uh, with a spring and a small buffer that these are going to push. So those are actually going to go in the back. You're going to take the bolt itself. This top piece does come off. Not a big deal. It falls It falls right back in there. Give you a view of how it goes together. That falls in there. We're going to hold that flat. Uh, we're going to take the bolt, actually put it onto the bolt carrier. And forgive me if the names are wrong, but that's what I'm going to call them. Uh, this is the key here that took us forever to figure out, and this is why we're sharing this video. Is Here's this wonderful little assembly that's got to be held together all at once. And what we're going to do... We're going to slide that over the magazine, and with your third hand, <clears throat> okay. I'm going to bring this all the way down. We already got the arms on there, right? And you can see the arms uh, from, I'll call it your magazine guide, capturing the bolt group there. The, the arms from the magazine guide are going to come into these very small holes here. You've got to do the left and right at the same time while holding the bolt carrier, not only in the magazine's arms, but also down because if you, if you slide this, uh, you're, going to get a, you're going to get a pop out and your actual locking block is going to pop up. So we're going to keep that down, make life a little bit easier. Then you've got your two little arms here. You've got your twin arms, and they need to be held back. I don't know if you get a shot of that. You can see the top of the uh, buffer spring right there, a little white piece of nylon. There's a hole in there. I'll make it a little bit easier. Uh, that is where those two arms are gonna go. So, three or four arms here. This is the hard part that nobody seems to know how to do, and as far as we could tell, there are no videos uh, on YouTube about it. So, I'm actually gonna transition and grab inside. Let's see in there, I'm already stuck. There we go. So the bolt was tweaked a little bit back. I had to press that bolt down. Now I'm moving again. And I guess we'll call this the crux here. We're going to get the arms in there. Hands in the way. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so really we have the pieces in there. And we're going to wiggle it in here. I'm stuck because my... I'm stuck because my locking block popped up there really hard to keep that locking block down at the same time. So there you go. Now, this is, once you're inside there and you get this all together, don't let that magazine guide go because it's all everything's going to fly back. So you got to hold this back. I think what we found, and correct me if I'm wrong, buddy, I think what we found is that uh, taking a brass punch. No? All right, so I'm lying. So we're not going to do that. So um, once we got that, the next thing we're going to do, this is fairly easy. Mo a lot more people know how to do this. We're going to take the piston itself. And we're going to drop it down in the end of the magazine. Get my finger out of there. Uh, we're going to take the, uh, the ring. That's going to go over top of the piston. And then 
Somewhere's a magical little pin. Here's a magical little pin. It's going to go through the ring. Honey, you get a shot of that. There's the side of the piston there. So the piston goes in. Uh, piston goes in with the small hole first. I'll say that. The larger hole is the uh, gas hole. It takes a little bit of force to get it through there because it has to pop by a small holding